March 11, 2014. A little game but at the time, Unknown Game Studio will release. An Xbox exclusive with massive potential, offering something new and fresh. In a Call of Duty exhausted first-person shooter genre, this new franchise will come to challenge the big players and create a very unique but sadly abandoned universe. Of course, I'm talking about Titanfall. Titanfall 1 was just different. At the time, the big hitters were Call of Duty or Battlefield, so the prospect of having a third player in the space was very promising. The promo for Titanfall 1 was one of the best I've ever seen for a game. They really made the game a massive event. It's commendable how Respawn made this universe so complex and interesting. The Titanfall world seemed very unique. A futuristic war game with massive mechs with a greater focus on player mobility? Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. From the get-go, you could see how Titanfall was going to be a different beast. The seamless transition from pilot gameplay to Titan gameplay show how competent the respawn was at game developing. Titanfall 1 and its sequel, Titanfall 2, deliver a type of gameplay I haven't seen in any other franchise. Cohesive, engaging, and fun. But sadly, the world was not ready. At the time, the concept of a fast-paced, mobility-centric first-person shooter, with the option of calling a massive mech to fight the enemies, and this, changing the entire dynamic of the match, was for sure exciting, but also not very conventional. People were too busy playing more familiar games like the previously mentioned Call of Duty or Battlefield, so Titanfall was always the odd one out. Despite all of this, it developed a very dedicated and loyal fan base, and it did well enough for a sequel, so Titanfall 1 was a relative success. Some reports say it even sold 10 million copies. Although some say it was closer to 7, but still, Respawn was onto something with this new IP. So much so that they were bought out by EA years later, for around 400 million. You know, not that much, pocket change for EA, especially if you take into account that Respawn and their IPs have made more than 2 billion for EA. Yeah, I think they did pretty well. So let's do a quick review of Titan for One, to appreciate all of his glories and to see how far we've come. In terms of graphics and looks, the game fits right in. Remember, this game came out in 2014. This was right around the end of the dark and greedy era, where everything was so desaturated and no color was allowed. Hello Mr. Developer, how desaturated and dark do you want your game? Yes. Honestly, I kind of like these graphics, but I'm happy that they didn't do this for the sequel. It's like they cranked up the color slider for Titanfall 2. And believe me, Titanfall 2 is not even that colorful. It's not Fortnite or anything, it's just that Titanfall 1 was that desaturated. Some people actually really like this look. As it goes well with the mature and greedy universe Respawn was going with at the time. But again, I prefer a little color. Even with this lack of color, I think the game has aged quite well. Titanfall 1 looks absolutely gorgeous on PC, especially at high resolutions. So again, I don't blame people for liking these looks. It's very nostalgic from a bygone era of gaming. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. The gameplay for Talent for One was the biggest selling point. The pilot gameplay is smooth and responsive. The gun gameplay is so satisfying. And of course, this game has wall running, so traversing the maps is pretty solid. Ah, of course, the smart pistol is a primary in this game. Burn cars are fun, and I like the proto pilot abilities the game has. We got the prototype for Cloak and Steam. One thing I was not a fan of was the rodeo mechanic. I'm a big fan of the battery system from Titanfall 2, but that's just me. And talking about Titans, this is Titanfall, so what about the Titan gameplay? Well, this is the part where my Titanfall 2 heritage plays against me. I just think Respawn did such a tremendous job with the Titan gameplay in the sequel, that I can't get it out of my head when I'm playing the first game. Everything feels like such a downgrade, animations, gunplay, and overall feeling. And I know that's not fair, but it's really like an actual preview of what's to come. A prototype, if you will. Wait, wait, am I, am I trapped? What? No! I, I can't believe I'm getting nuked in the first game! Wait, 
which is good. Again, this is a prequel, so it really feels like the, all of the ideas were there and Respawn just went all out for the sequel, making better what was already pretty good. But for what it is, Titan gameplay was pretty fun. I do think Titans look more generic, which makes sense. Lore-wise, Titans were not meant to be killing machines from the get-go. Titanfall 2 does a much better job by giving Titans personalities. They look more unique and advanced, but that's for another video. Some highlights were the fact that you can actually switch your Titan weapon, allowing more flexibility, and dash core is completely broken. See, whoa, what the, dude, oh my god, Jesus, dude, that's so broken, oh my god, man, I, and I thought that running was a problem, that other one was not perfect, there were certain decisions Respawn made that affected the game on the long run, being an Xbox exclusive really limited the game's reach. Also, the decision of making Titanfall 1 an online only game, a decision criticized even at the time. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. As it was clear what will happen to the game in only a few years, all of the exciting Titanfall 1 content can only be accessed through the multiplayer. And with the low player base, it was harder and harder for players to experience the Titanfall universe. But there were other factors outside of the game's control, like the whole hacking situation the game had years and years ago. Overall, the role has been very bumpy for this franchise, but even after a decade, there's still people willing to give this franchise a chance. And whether we like it or not, the Titanfall franchise lives on with Apex Legends, and any future projects Respawn has for this universe. Happy 10 years Titanfall, thank you for all the fun.